Okay, I think we are live. Um, let's let's see if anyone can connect. Okay, it seems people are connecting. Uh, if you can hear me, maybe say hi in the chat or something like that, so I know. Yeah, that sound is working. I had to reconfigure everything, reinstall OBS and stuff like that. So I'm, I haven't done it for a while. So I'm not sure if it works or not. Um, it should be working. I think. Okay, so sound is okay. Cool, 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 cool. Um, yeah, I, I think I'll stick with English in case somebody later decides to watch the recording and can make sense of what's going on. Um, yeah, welcome again, everyone. Uh, as you might know, uh, recently we in JetBrains released a library called Skidra. It's a graphics library uh, that I've worked mostly uh, it was me who worked on it, and it's what is powering Jetpack Compose for desktop that JetBrains also developed. Um, yeah, but uh, the Skidra is a separate library that's based on Skia and it can, can do graphics. And you can use it with or without Compose uh, for whatever you want, for visualizations, for UI. Or for games. So, uh, and uh, last week, I think I watched Alexander Solovyov's stream where he tried to program a snake game, and I realized I wanted to do the same. It looked very fun. So, yeah, uh, I think I will be doing that today. Cool. Uh, we have some people in the chat. That's that's very nice. Welcome everyone. Okay, so let's start. Um, we will be using so right now i am in bring another firefox uh, this repo so skidra is main repo for skidra and there is examples folder which has examples lwjl is our like uh, go-to example it has everything that skidra has to offer bitmap and Closure, uh, like basic examples. So we'll be using closure template. Basically, we'll clone this uh, folder and make our own, right? So it's not, might be not that easy to do from uh, Sublime. Unfortunately, I like Sublime and it can do lots of great things, but some sometimes that you cannot drag and drop folders in here, it's kind of annoying. Okay, so we clone it, we rename it uh, Closure Snake, I don't know, something like that. And from, from now on, we'll, work in, we'll be working here. Uh, this one we don't need. Uh, Depths Eden. Okay, so right now, let's say we want to use the latest version, not the locally built version, so anybody else can, can um, also reproduce this. Okay, so it has lots of LWJL dependencies, which are good for creating a window, handling events, and creating OpenJL um, context. And after we initialized OpenJL, Skidra takes over, and everything else is done through Skidra. So we need this for Windows man window management and uh, Skidra for graphics, right? Uh, and REPL, we probably won't need today, so let me comment this out. Oh, yeah, we won't need it today. Uh, yeah, and so let's go here. Uh, we probably want to rename this to Snake or Skidra Snake, I don't know. Let's call it Snake here, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so it's snake.main. Uh, we don't need any Apple. We do need the Skidra stuff, which will 
fw, opengl, uh, everything else we need here. What? What? Okay, this is strange. Uh, let me. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay. So, Sublime got confused because uh, we moved some stuff around. Okay, so here, this is what's going. So, this is responsible for initializing uh, GLFW. Here, we start uh, REPL, and we definitely we are going to need that. Here, we start NREPL. We probably won't need that, so uh, let me kill it. Here we continue to initializing MJL and then these classes are from Skidra. I think this one is from Skidra as well. So there is render loop uh, in which we clear canvas, we save its state, call draw method, and then restore it. Okay, then flash, swap buffers, so there is resync and pull events. And this some there is some shutdown and there is some stuff that can be copied. Okay, we are going to change it um, a little bit, move things around. So I I'm thinking we need two namespaces actually. One is main and another is what's called game. Okay, and all the graphics is going to be in the game, like here. Okay. J. Uh, here, sorry. We what we need is now the, the only difference is going to be we are, we are going to call. Um, let me see. Um, we are going to call snake games that draw with colors something like that something like that okay and here we need to require this we don't need we need to require snake to the game as game okay hopefully hopefully let's move it here uh, this we need to replace as game and this is snake okay so if i did everything correctly. We probably need this import with some stuff. So yeah, the, the, there is a problem that Skidra is a Java library, so we are going to use Java interop significantly, which should be okay. Well, part of the the idea of this stream is actually to figure out how useful this is from um, Skidra, uh, from Clojure, sorry. Sorry. Um, yeah, this, this needs to move to the draw method as well. Okay, uh, save, draw, restore. Yeah, it looks okay. Let's me, let me try to start examples closure snake let's see if we can uh, this is not what we want we actually have a script here called run which does run snake so the trick here is that um, another problem with Java and especially with Clojure and Skidra or OpenGL and Clojure, yeah, is that you cannot uh, create window uh, no from any other thread than the first thread. So that's why in here we pass uh, start on the first thread, at least on Mac, Mac OS, right? We pass this to JVM. So that the thread that uh, has our main function, we'll call our main function, will be the first thread JVM creates. That's the first uh, trick. And the second trick is we cannot start REPL and start uh, Skija from REPL because that would mean we're starting from some, some other thread. We have to initialize Skija first and then start REPL from there. So that's why 
we have the script that calls our main and our main uh, in other thread creates closure repl. Luckily, closure repl is not that uh, doesn't have any limitations from which thread it wants to run. So this should, yeah, okay, snake game, blah, 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 something, something, ah. what? Uh, let me see if you have, yeah, here we have everything, something is not, the snake main doesn't see snake, ah, oh, yeah, okay. Snake main, no name space, snake main, yes, because it's, uh, it's not snake. Okay, let's try. And we see a rectangle. Okay, this is good. Let me move, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's like that. And like that. Now, if we go and change the color from the REPL, so the idea is uh, what I want to use uh, closure for. So we have this window that constantly re-renders, right? And we have a REPL that will reload the namespace. We probably want to go into snake.game and require snake.game reload. Yeah. And we will be going, we will be leaving main namespace as it is. We don't want to restart this event loop, but it dynamically bins to the draw function. And we will be going to reload this namespace. And as it reloads, we will see the state of our game updates here without, without what? <laughs> Uh, without restarting or reinitializing or reclicking something. So yeah, I think it uh, highlights the power of closure, why closure is good for UI development or game development. Uh, I think it's also probably unmatched in other engines. I hope so. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have uh, game development experience, but uh, whether it's matched or unmatched uh, doesn't matter. It's certainly very good, right? Okay, uh, I'm going to read the chat. Have you tried to use Tatkane in your Sublime setup? No, I, I haven't heard about it. I definitely need something in uh, my Sublime set setup to bring an REPL or REPL, some sort of REPL inside the Sublime. I don't like switching between editor and terminal all the time, but I didn't manage to do that yet, unfortunately. It just needs time and some research and yeah, I, I tried some plugins, they weren't very good, so yeah, I, I didn't spend time to do a proper research yet. Okay. Okay, thank you for <laughs> reminding me that my uh, require was misspelled. I think we fixed it, so uh, that's not a problem. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, the skin is uh, this is small window. It's resizable, but I don't think we handle resize properly, so we are not going to resize it. And now I think we need to restart it <laughs> because I um, resized it. Okay, let me make it. No, I think the size is right, right? Okay, I think size is perfect. Um, hmm. Let's go on this namespace, let's leave it as is, and now let's start programming a game. And I think we don't need anything more than that. Okay, so what we are going to need, we are going to need uh, state, right? So state is an atom, which is going to have, I don't know, width. So let's say we want a field of so this window is 640 by 480. So let's say it's 600 by 400. We, if we make a cell 10 by 10, so it will be 60 by 44. Let's say this is the size of our field. Okay, uh, this formatting is not optimal. 
um, yeah. So this would be the size of our field. So the the next thing is I'm thinking. Hmm. Let's see. Let's let's draw some 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 squares that represent the field, the game field, right? So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do seek from x is going to be range zero state. These parameters are probably not going to change dynamically, but I don't want to introduce like two states, static state, dynamic states. So, yeah. I think it's okay if we have both in the same uh, height. Okay, and let's try and draw a rectangle here. So we have it right here. We make the rectangle X. Uh, I've been programming Java for so long, I might have forgotten some closure skill. Okay. Um, hmm. Do we have something like with resources or something like that? Uh, we, we have, right? For with open, I think this is it. Yes. Yes, with open. So okay, so with open is normally uh, just uh, a block that we'll clo call close at the end of uh, of the block. Okay, and the thing is that Skia uh, classes mostly implemented as well. So if you go to paint.java, for example, it extends managed and managed uh, implements auto closable, which is Java class for that has a close method. And this is optional, you don't have to call it, but uh, if you know you don't need some resource, you might want to call it. Okay, so here we, we are going to try it like this. Uh, with open, uh, let's call it fill, uh, let's call it set color, and here we need some color, and this is going to be color, uh, how do we define color? Oh, just, um, we need green, right? So let's say this is green. Let's call it fill. This should do the trick, sort of. Let's see if we... Boom! Yeah, we have a namespace. Uh, I'll take pause for one second, sorry.
<laughs> I was not talking. I know. I know. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. I was explaining why I'm not using Emacs. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, somebody mentioned Emacs in the pose and started answering that and was not reading ahead. Uh, sorry again. Yeah, I, I don't use Emacs because uh, it's an editor that you have to constantly tweak in and there is no defin definitive setup. You have to configure everything yourself and do it all the time. There is no end to it, right? So uh, Sublime, you just install it and start using maybe change some settings and after that you don't think about it at all. Uh, I imagine if I use Emacs, I would constantly be trying to improve it and that would just take much of my uh, energy. Okay, so the first thing we here we need is we need to translate actually, right? So we need to translate how much, how much? Okay, uh, here we are going to pass width and high of the canvas and how much we are going to translate is minus with so cell size is 10 called cell size I don't know all right so cell size okay and and we need to do this we need to Half this right so this is uh, how much we need to go from the x axis and this is from the y exit so axis uh, height this will uh, what this will do i hope is will move our origin zero zero point from the this edge slightly into the into the center halfway into the center so that this field is going is going to be exactly in the center okay now something <laughs> something broke and yeah this is expected because we changed the signature right so okay that's but uh, at least now it is in the center okay cool uh, the second thing that i i want is actually to do some colors and colors 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 okay so hmm let me think how best to do that but well let's 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 call hmm. let's just write it here so every time this namespace gets reloaded we are going to transact into star state a new field called colors okay right now it's nil but we're going to transact it <sighs> uh, let me look up there is some function called repeat i think we need repeatedly and returns infinite lazy sequence of calls to it. Yeah, so that's what we need. So we need repeatedly uh, swap <laughs> swap state conj colors. What we are going to conj into the colors? We are going to let call to vec so that we like eagerly realize it right repeatedly and then we are going to generate a random color let me go to color it's probably to do easier to do with color for f and also i need to remember how the random works in closure it's rent right 
yeah it's rent and generates a floating point number okay cool so uh we need color for f let me add it here i think um mm -hmm. so this is what we are going to do we need to create color for f with three three f's right so there is going to be so rent um let's say we we, are, we want to be let me actually no let let me run this color slurp let's figure out which type of green we kind of want which would look um, what's going on how do i make so this is going to be white then we slightly move it yeah now nah, this is this is too, too hard uh, i'm just trying to to figure out um uh, which color i want to be or grass i want to be so it it should be probably slight ish green right not too i think this this is okay okay let's see uh let's see let's actually see it with this then uh, no and let's see um. <laughs> okay so it's around 200 230 120 uh, i need to to transfer it to the float so it was 194 20 right and what else 122 okay uh, so let's say this is our perfect color right uh, we are going to do slight variations around it so we're going to maybe do we have rent int what the rent int does between zero and n okay so maybe plus minus 20 right so let's say we do run in 40 minus 20 yeah so this is plus minus 20 around this maybe it's too much but nah let's see uh 075 okay so it's it's just 075 plus rand no 0 0.1 something like that okay um this is our red our green is 220 which is more or less 85 and our blue is around 1.5 so this yes um and here we do two color yes we have that Yes, we have two colors. So return in. So this is uh, like float representation. Actually, no, we, we, we don't have to do that really. Set color for F. Yeah, we have set color for F, so we actually can leave uh, color for F, which is, which is fine. Okay, uh, and we need to say how many times we need to do this and that would be a multiple of weights state height of state yes so this is how many colors do we need and this is what we do with them something like this okay um, does Kija has after reload refresh mode when you make code changes? Um, no, no. The Kija is. Let's see if it broke anything actually. Yeah, it doesn't know how to create 
sequence from a keyword because we need this cool uh, we uh, let me I will answer it in one second uh, I will just want to see what's in the state if we get the colors right uh, we got some colors right I guess uh, does Skija have after reload refresh mode? No, but Clojure does, right? So Skija is Java library. So there is no, no fancy stuff like reloading classes and stuff like that. Uh, nothing, nothing. But Skija is graphics library. And in that sense, you can use it as a game UI library or something, game library, something like that. So uh, the, the way it works, we render each frame. Um, each frame we call a render function that renders new state. So we don't persist anything in here. It gets refreshed every 60th of a second or even less. I have like 144 hertz monitor. So it's faster than that. Um, every frame is in new and is rendered completely from scratch. That's why we can render completely random stuff each time. And that's uh, what we are doing. We basically we implement the draw function and we re re redefine this draw function. So each frame Skija calls uh, this draw function. But what is inside this draw function changes every time, right? Uh, every frame. If we reload, we start drawing something else. We see something else on the screen. That's that, that's how it works. So let me try to. Um, we need a color somewhere in here, right? So, uh, we need to set color for F on the fill, and then what we need to do is to call, I always forget the ends, which goes first, collection and index. So, collection is colors state. I think we need somewhere in here we need to just read state once. We don't need to read it all the time. This is how closure is supposed to work. Oops, I'm doing some wrong stuff, right? Okay, so we, uh, we need ends and the, the number of a color is sum of uh, x no y multiple of y and width of the scene and x okay so as you see the field here which is paint paint class it's mutable so we can change it every time and that's okay so at least we don't create new objects okay let's see if it does something yeah it did so we um, repainted uh, we made <laughs> sorry <laughs> if i change uh we made each color it's on each each cell it's on color now now what i want to do is uh, replace this uh, yeah. like this let's see yeah now now we have some field we can experiment with how much we do we want it uh, here for example if you want don't want to go way too far we can make it like this so it's more uniform but I, I think it was okay ish i don't like the color it's actually pretty meh <laughs> uh, maybe so we use this one maybe we should use this one instead let's see real quick if we should or if we shouldn't so let's go to calculator we are in this we have 83 83 is 131 5 it's 154 0, 51. Um, then e3 is to uh, so, sorry no ok 
Okay. And yeah, I am always taller. Maybe I will be much more happier with this color. I don't know. Four, seven. Okay, let's see if this color is better. If not, we have to eat it. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. I like star prefix on atoms have used ampersand in the past. Yes, it is GitHub productivity report, exactly. Uh, hmm, okay, but uh, yeah, whatever. I, I, I kind of want to make it slightly lighter, so maybe... I'm not sure how... Maybe not change this one, this one. Is there a way to switch to two windows at once? No, it's, it's worse now. <laughs> okay, let's leave it at, at this. Okay, so now we have a field. Uh, we, let's start Let's start doing some snake, right? So it becomes harder. Uh, it becomes boring without a snake. So uh, for snake, I was thinking, let's do, let's do snake. So snake is going to be a vector, I guess. Um, a vector of coordinates. We have a width of 60, so probably the, what just happened? It just Figma just r randomly la launched on me. Just I didn't press even anything. Okay, that's computers for you. Uh, <laughs> um, so let's see, let's say we start at 30.22 and let's see, let's start with a snake of three, four, I don't know, uh, 33, 34, 35, okay. So that's our snake for now. This is the first uh, is a head, the rest is uh, like the body. Okay, so now, um, Mm -hmm. I also think maybe we should do keys here, so we don't uh, keep going into, so, so we have colors, we have cell size, and probably have snakes, right? So it just looks lighter recent height um, we probably want here too This this looks much lighter to me. Okay, now let's let's do snake. Okay, uh, so what we need to do is x y is in snake, right? Uh, yeah, and all we need to do is we set set color fill. Um, our color is going to be let's say black ish. Uh, for now, so this is our snake. Uh, the format if, in this is it, it's the same as key, is KJ as well. So this is alpha, and this is hexagon. Uh, this is integer. Uh, integer has four four bytes, right? The first byte or, or the its higher highest byte is alpha, then red, then green, then blue. So if I want green, I would go to something like that. Basically like CSS, but alpha goes first. Uh, here we using an encoded as integer, not a string. Uh, we're going to use uh, black for snake and we do more or less the same. We do Blah, blah, blah. 
maybe I don't want, I, I don't like normally two words for names. Let's call it cell for now, so it's shorter. And we should see our snake. No, it died. <laughs> um, huh. Snake. Why did it die? We probably need to do something with... Um, hmm. I don't... Uh, something error recovery so this is all a uh, very ad hoc but um no okay so this is what we are going to do uh broke is atom false broken okay um no we don't need def once right we, do, we need just def Okay, so broken is, we have draw impl here, and we have actual draw, which is going to be called from outside. Here we, we're saying uh, try, uh, we call uh, draw impl, don't need to type hints here, I guess, uh, with canvas and these two guys, and Here we need to, uh, when not broken, we do draw. Uh, cache, how do you cache? I, 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 I don't remember. I think it you need, yes, exception, exception E, um, stack trace E. The, probably there is some. Facilities and closure to print exceptions. I can never remember uh, which what they are. So we're going to leave it to Java. Hopefully it does. Yeah, uh, so <laughs> another thing that confuses me in closure always is that we have uh, it has three root cause, for example. Like that. so, we're supposed to use REPL main or Closure stack trace. Another problem that I have with closure is that uh, closure REPL is actually closure main. Uh, the REPL that closure starts is in closure main, and REPL, I don't know what that namespace is for. But yeah, uh, well, maybe we need to import uh, closure stack trace. Let's see, uh, because as I say, it is closure oriented uh, namespace uh, exceptions and it can print like line in your closure file instead of line in a java file which is i guess slightly better right um e and now we're going to go to stack trace and see what they have print stack trace yeah print a closure oriented stack trace so that's what we want probably Probably um, trace, print stack trace, something like that. And then we are going to reset broken to true. So we don't try to draw after that. If something is broken, we don't try to draw anymore. But we are going to. If you reload, we fix it and reload, we should be fine. Let's see. Let's see if this trick works. Yeah, at least it works. Oh, I, I know, I know. It didn't have any snake probably. Well, that shouldn't be a problem really. Um, in namespace, reload. Yeah, so we have some snake. Um, Gita, can you move your picture from left down? Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Of course, um, when I was tapping, I, I thought like I should change that and I didn't. Um, sorry. Yes, uh, that's very, very valid. I, that's exactly the place where I type the code and type the comment, right? 
Uh, yeah, I, I hope it's better now. Okay, we have snake here. Uh, let's implement. We have to implement some movement, uh, but for that we need some ticks. Um, let's do that now. I'll, I'll grab some water and be back. Okay, I think I didn't do the same mistake and enabled my microphone. Um, yeah, for movement we are going, we need uh, ticks, so we need to know how game progresses. Uh, to do that, well, I guess we need some function called tick that takes state and returns state, right? Mm. Uh, we need the direction as well. Direction is going to be um, up in our case. So, yeah, there. And don't forget to unmute. Yeah, I checked that. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Um, direction uh, is going to be upwards, right? And the tick is, is what we are going to do is we take our head. We take our head, we take our head. Um, yeah, so we, <laughs> we need to change this snake thing. Yes, um, how, how do we, we do that? Uh, we take, I think we need snake is, um, let me do it this way, snake, uh, head is going to be first snake, right? Snake. Um, I think, I also think that snake, in our case, uh, vector is not a perfect data structure for that. And we might need a queue. Uh, a queue is a weird thing in Clojure because it doesn't have a function in Clojure Core for some reason. So Clojure does have a persistent queue, but it's just not in the in uh, whatever. You need to instantiate it with. So this is a persistent queue. Um, hmm. I think it's we need something like this. Let me enter uh, closure when persistent queue no empty. Something like this. I I hope it that works. Then. Um, mm, I think closure does so what it does have is peak and peak yes. So the peak is our front. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, we insert on the front and we delete from the bottom. That's not how Q works, right? It's it's reverse Q. Um I'm not ready to store. Well, let me let me check how my sites does it have. 
Big pop. Yeah, it's Rusky. Okay, uh, well, let's let's do that. It might be weird, but why not? Let's store our snake from tail to head. So head is going to be the last. All right. And remember, so this is a big pops from the front. And search to the back, pops from the front. Yes, yes. Um, this seems okay. Okay, so this is a tail. I'm, I'm confused. Okay, never mind. I am too confused, and that means this is not a good idea. Um, let's leave it as it was, no matter, it might be not optimal, who cares, right? So head is the first snake, um, what we need to do is, um, X, Y, and then we have deer here, DX, DY is our deer. Um, what we need to do is uh, how do we take conch you have conch on a vector and you have sub vector i think there is the thing as sub vector but it's implemented as a separate class it it, it stores Maybe not, I don't know. Yeah, it creates sub vector. Um, so, <laughs> sorry. Uh, so the nor with normal sequences, it would be like this. We need a cons uh, on the head. We add x dx y dy yes on the front then we do but last snake something like this uh, everything but last and this we insert on the front which both are not perfect for vector but we uh, are going to snake prime we're going to convert it in a vector to the last point. So before we do this, this is lazy sequence. This is probably some sort of lazy sequence. But after that, we just materialize them into a vector. And what we do is, is we soak state snake, snake prime. Okay. There is also needs to be handling oh, 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 oh. We need actually to think about x prime if x is um, if we are going to <laughs> sorry uh, sorry this is uh, just. Um, few edge cases that we need to process. Uh, if x sharp is less than zero, we we could probably let me quote something like this, right? Three no. No 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 How do you, there's a mod, or, there's mod, right? Yeah, uh, there's mod 10 3, so what we need to do is x plus dx plus uh, actually reads. So that if in case we overflow, this is probably the, the shortest we can go. 
this works for both positive negatives and stuff like that so this way our snake is going to wrap around okay um empty yeah um now we need to execute the stick right and what we need to do here is um, hmm. probably we are going to to put something like last tick in here which is going to be zero for now mm -hmm. now oh, we're going to do last tick in here oh and we also need to update last tick system current time Yes, yes. Uh, now we need to do this. If actually we need to do this uh, now, and if the difference between now and um, last tick is greater than what how how often do we want our tick let's say 200 milliseconds yes uh if it's bigger uh it's actually when uh, yeah when it's bigger we do swap state tick and we pass now in here as well now something like this yes so looks good to me uh, I'll probably do some tick draw grass I just like it probably we could reuse the, the, the same paint we can totally reuse it i just don't like to do that because i want this to be independent independent blocks you know yes and here we draw snake and uh, normally it's not normally but at some point this probably go into their own separate functions it would be easier to do it this way okay let's see let's see if our uh, thing uh, about broken works okay height on line what's going on 34 is not defined ticken I don't understand why it always moves me to closure. Uh huh. But snake doesn't move. Yeah. Uh, this is probably because X is now um, with X. Drawing pro forty five. No, this is completely wrong. We don't have draw impro draw sixty-five forty. It's, it's, it probably didn't reload. Yes, I don't know. I don't know. Something is not um, right. Hmm. This was unfortunate. What is going on? Something is not not working. Um, I probably broke the terminal as well. Okay, let's see. So the problem. Okay, now <laughs> it's it's all here. Uh, we probably want. Uh, <laughs> We need to reset state function. 
which is going to be this. Yes. Reset state and here we probably do sixteen five forty four. So that uh, because our no, this wrong. Reset state. Something like this, yes. So each time we reload, we reinitialize re our state. Well, uh, <laughs> kind of, kind of, kind of. No, 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 not like not like this. Uh, new state. Let's call it new state, and we just it, it's just going to return this. Then we'll just um, new state. We will have a REPL function that does reset star state new state. So this. Okay, let's see, let's see. Um, we're going to ns new state uh, reload duplicate key colors. Yes, that is true. Uh -huh. um, we probably we probably don't want it to print to be printed. Because it has colors in it. The what? Fuck. Yeah. Um, sorry about that. We, this is what we need to do. Yeah. Something is not right with our snake, right? Nobody knows what. So it moves, but but last. Oh, because yeah, of course, of course, something is not r right with our snake. Uh, reload. Now it's very weird, but uh, maybe I don't understand how this works now. No, this seems correct. Um, something, maybe I, I got cons part wrong. Oh, what the? This is ridiculous amount of typos. And it works, it moves, look. And it wraps. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I think it's very cool. Um, yeah. So now, what we do now? We probably have to do events, right? We have to do like switching uh, direction. Um, I think the speed is fine as well. <sighs> yeah, XX, thank you. I, I already spotted it. Um, we need to change direction and for that we need to go back to glfw and do event handling here you see and i don't of course i don't remember how it it works uh, but we can 
look up in another example, a Skidger example, because I figured out here. So what we need is key callback, window, blah, 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 action, um, key, okay, key. Um, yeah, this is tricky because it requires a callback, which might require uh, <laughs> uh, might require some closure Java interop non-trivial. It might, it might not. I don't know. Um, but let's try. Let's try it. Yes. So we need uh, window. We don't need key. We need scan code. We don't need action. We probably need uh, mods. We also don't need. Okay. So our goal is to call this function from closure. Okay input reference let's see uh, this is not what we're going for we need the same but in in here yeah i just want to figure out the types exact types of what it expects this is what we need uh, yeah so they have in, in because uh, in in Java it's simple you use lambda interface and uh, it's, it just works. Uh, here it's callback callback. Don't see. Oh, okay. So this is what we need to implement, right? Um, hmm. Yeah. Let's 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 get to it. I don't know. So this has to happen before we enter the event loop. So basically somewhere in here even maybe, or maybe here, I don't know. Uh, but um, I'm, I think I'm even good to do it here now. Here, there, I don't know. Let's do it here. So our class that we need it to work on is this. Uh, we need window. Window we have. It would be crazy if it work. If it work, it works. I would be so happy. Oh, so happy. So we need key and we need actions. Key. Action. Mods. Yes. Um, for that we probably need to restart because we don't reload main. I don't know how to reload main. Enable to resolve uh, star state. What? Oh yeah. This doesn't. Yeah, we cannot be cast to blah, 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 blah. Um, hmm. Okay. So we probably need proxy, which is another class that I don't, another closure function that I can never remember. But I think uh, closure docs has good examples. I hope that it always has good examples. Okay. So we need this. We need no, no this. Um, let's go. We so this is the class that we need to be implemented. We also need it to be imported from JLFW uh, like this. Okay. Uh, then we need to implement the method invoke long int 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 int. Okay. Uh, I think closure should be good enough. This, this invisible character that you get by copying from documentation is is very bad. You shouldn't be doing. This shouldn't be happening. Um, and we don't get this, but we get all the rest, right? So we have it like this. Okay, let's see. Let's see if it works. Uh huh. Unsupported operation exception. Uh, which which operation wasn't 
Okay. Let's see what happened. It really happened. We don't know. Unsupported operation exception. Set key, callback, mem address, save. Um, we might be in trouble actually. Something doesn't work and I don't know what. And I don't know what. Um, hmm. I don't know what. Heaven walk, right? Address. So try to call some address thing. Why does it have to be a pointer? Uh, so I guess, I guess. Ah, uh, maybe. Wait, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe. It should be like this. No. Huh. Um. Uh, the, the thing is, if if this is an interface, right, this is an interface, we shouldn't be using proxy. Is proxy for interfaces? Class and interfaces arguments? Oh, no, no, I, I, I was wrong. So it's like this. But okay, let me try something else. We also have Reify, right? And Reify can um, implement Java interfaces, I think. And it requires refi. We say this, and then we do this. And here, this has to be passed explicitly. Um, yeah, <laughs> win a game, baby. Okay. Um, Okay, so we have four four um, what what the keys, right? So up is three, four, two, three, four, five. Okay, uh, probably need to. Okay, this is what we're going to be using. We are going to use the same strategy we used with draw, but uh, we're going to do like on event different on event on key pressed key uh, key yeah that's all we need right key uh, modifications modificators maybe in the future but right now what all we all all we need is uh on key pressed impl Mm -hmm. And same here. If something is broken, don't try to do it a second time. Yeah, uh, don't try to do it a second time. Uh, otherwise, okay. And we need uh, the same. Okay, priest pressed impel. Uh, here we are going to. Mm, we we moving this print line actually in here. Okay, so this way we have keys rest, and here we call key rest. There is also something like. Uh, what do we need to check? Action? 
yes action case action and if it is this which I also need to look up uh, which class it is uh, it's just So if it's pressed, uh, uh, we pass, we pass it on, right? So it looks like this should kind of work ish. Let's see. No, it doesn't work. For some reason. Maybe. Let's, let's do this. Let's see why it doesn't work. I mean, I am curious. Uh, it might be this like... <laughs> uh, let, let's figure uh, for sure. Probably one of them is int, int uh, the other one is long. No, they both integer. Okay, so I, uh, now I don't understand why uh, case doesn't work. I have seen it before. The solution is is to use this. So it will call the equals instead of doing the case magic, which I don't know how it works. It might be that like uh, I don't know two they both integer objects, not primitives. So uh, they technically two different objects representing the same integer and maybe uh, it seems like uh, uh, they are not equal because of different objects right but if you use contp it uses equality it even works closure equality even works on all numbers not just the same type yeah, now we have it. So right is 262, left is 263, down is 264, and up is 265. Okay, that works for me. Um, I stopped it for some reason, but... <laughs> um, okay, Let you, let's use the same um, trick here. So 264 is right. Sorry, too much Java. Uh, 263 is left. 264 is bottom. Normally, you're supposed to use these constants from, again, from GLFW class, right? But I am okay with using it here. I don't want to use it here. Um, and 265 was up. Okay. Um, Let's see what we want to do on this, for example. If we click right, right, so we swap uh, state a sock direction one zero, something like this. This is going to be pretty easy. Bottom is we need additional checks, but For now, this should work somehow. Yes. Let me do this grouping. Okay, let's see. It should work, and we I think yeah. Wow. No. I think I messed up and down, but other than that, it seems to work. We need to go in namespace. What? Um, I must, yeah, because bottom is plus and up is minus because we are uh, the y axis grows down. Uh, let's try our reload. <laughs> I can play it. Let's speed up, speed it up a little bit. Um, we have speed somewhere in here. So we have a tick of 200, let's say it's 100, yeah, twice as fast. 
Somewhere in here we are going to have tick as well. It's called on tick. Let's uh, add tick here, uh, add it here. Now we need it like this. For some reason it doesn't move, I don't know why. Uh, why doesn't it move? So we do this. Can't invoke blah 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 something reset state. Okay, now it works, yes. Uh, it's even fast enough for me. So it kind of works. Um, hmm. I don't know. I'm pretty satisfied already. Uh, we need, of course, to do apples or I don't know what, uh, rabbits. I actually wanted to do rabbits, not apples. Uh, but it seems too small. Maybe if we make each cell two times as big, yes? So let's say we have 30, 22, we make it 20, yes? And why does it stop? I don't understand. For some reason it stops. Uh oh, uh oh, <laughs> now we're in big trouble. Uh, I would be honest, I have no idea what happened. I have no idea. Yeah. I'm am I satisfied? Yes, kind of. Okay, I actually wanted to spend some time to do elaborate elaborate uh, snake drawing like uh Skia has paths and strokes and so you can do lines and arcs and like do proper so right now we're just like rectangles right we don't uh translate and rotate them or stuff like that um so i wanted to do that and then do maybe rabbits you know what okay let me check so we go here i click for example save nothing changes and then at some point it stops why why does it stop? And if I reload, it goes again. Ah, because because some key is not processed, and because of that, it breaks. I see. Because I press a key that is not handled. Yeah, I fix it. So now it shouldn't stop. Oh, we, we actually didn't implement. I, I can go back and forth now. Yeah, this is not allowed. Um, hmm. We cannot go. Yeah, let me say, let's let's do that. Actually, uh, we have a thing called state. Yeah, we have state state uh, for forbidden yes uh, forbidden would be a direction that is forbidden and it would be implemented as uh, <laughs> okay let's uh, uh, let's say we have keys uh, snake here okay so the head would be first snake yes um, let's call the second uh the second tile a neck <laughs> why not uh our snake is going to have a neck okay so the forbidden direction is where is neck relative to the to the head so for example is head is zero zero and neck is zero one we cannot go down yes so we need um, forbidden. Uh, it is going to be first neck, 
So we're going to subtract, subtract from the neck head. And the same, do the same for the second. This shouldn't be first, second, it should be X and Y, but um, eh, who cares. We'll actually use I point from Skidra. We have uh, the class I point, but the problem with it is we ha will have to, it, it's not closure friendly, yes, and we wouldn't be, we would have to write like dot X and that sucks. Uh, or maybe not, maybe not, but it doesn't have like useful methods like plus, minus, or stuff like that, which it should. It uh, it's probably should, but it doesn't at, 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 at this point. So this is a forbidden direction. Right? Um, so there are... No, no, no. When... one forbidden direction and if it's it I know looks okay to me uh, maybe there's smarter way slightly smarter way to write this code I don't know maybe I don't know I am not going to look for it I am all for okay let's see if I can go up no, now I cannot go back I can go in any direction I can go even to the same direction but I cannot go back and this, this is pretty cool actually I, I hope you can map star minus one percent dear Yes, forbidden is inverted dear. Uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. So somebody posted uh, the emoji of a bunny. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted to do. So most snake games use apples instead of bunnies. Uh, but snakes, I think they don't eat apples, they eat bunnies, right? So I wanted to use bunny and I don't, don't want to draw it, I want to use like actual emoji for it. Yeah, this is what exactly what I was going for. Okay, so let's let's add some bunnies, I guess. Next, right? Um, otherwise it would be pretty boring. Yeah, I am going to grab some more water because speaking constantly is very makes my throat dry. One second. Okay, uh, so so my mic has a um, physical mute button, and you press it and unpress it, and it used to work fine, and now it's for some reason it w doesn't work for the first time. So you click it, it doesn't register or register twice, or I don't know. So uh, one more problem, one more situation where technology betrayed me. Um, it's so satisfying to be playing with the snake for some reason, I don't know. There's something about these first games that, um, that draws you into, 
um, into them something very true and rewarding. Uh, I, I mean, like Snake or Tetris are popular not for random, not just because they were only games. There's some inherent quality to them that it is fun to play them. No matter the implementation, it's just fun and satisfying. So yeah, yeah I, I've tried Tetris recently and just playing old Tetris is it, it grabs you instantly and you want to play, you want to play, play and play it more like, I don't know, like Candy Crush Saga or something like that, but back in the day. And the snake has the same quality, I think. I saw the stream um, of Alexander Solovyov and uh, I, I like, it, it looks so cool. I want to do that as well. Yeah, but with better graphics. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is uh, this is it. Okay, let's let's do bunnies, right? So first thing first, we need to uh, to put some bunnies in here. So bunnies. Mm, let me check that I spelled it right. Rabbits. Let's call them rabbits. I don't know. Let's call them rabbits. And the same thing goes here. How many? Let's say 10. And each of them is going to be run in with in high. Yes. So this, these are our rabbits. Of course, we won't see them. So. Uh, it doesn't make, make sense to try it out, but um, draw rabbits, and uh, the same goes for the go rabbits. Rabbits are here. Yes, and. <laughs> I know, I know. Let me just try like red square first, but I promise we will change it the very next moment. I just want to make sure we're doing everything right. So reset state. Uh, in this reset state require yeah, and we see. Um, hmm. Yes, because we need, uh, I think, something like this. Yeah, we have them. And eating them, of course, does nothing yet, but I don't want to see this. I want to. To see actual rabbits. So, so what 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 should we do? Okay, so there's a couple of things you might say. First, we need a typeface. Um, what? Uh, let me just remember. I did. Uh, I'm just going. So now we're doing, before we just did rectangles and it's quite boring. So we're trying something else. So this is how you get a font and typeface. We need uh, both actually. And what we're going to, this we don't need anymore. This we still need somewhere in here, probably as the mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Okay. Um, this is what we're going we're gonna do. Face, let's call it face, uh, and even manager. So we need font manager, which is Kijer class. Yes. Uh, face, and we need just font somewhere. But we need at least these classes, right? So manager is get. Yeah, no, 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 it's font manager get default. This is default font manager. Typeface is calling this on it with um, there's something like this is the name of the font. 
we are going to work on Mac OS right now um, and I feel okay about it. There are ways, of course, to make it work on all systems. So XKJ is cross-platform, LWJL is cross-platform. Um, and this is just a matter of setting up than anything else. It's It shouldn't be a problem. Like you, you have to modify depths to like fetch the proper OS or build three versions. Then you have to like not hard code Apple color emoji font, maybe I uh, hard code all the fonts or there is actually, it should be work with any font actually because they are font fallbacks. So emoji, uh, they own font. So if you use font, I know Helvetica and you have uh, emoji in the middle of Helvetica string, it will still draw um, an emoji for you. Um, but I need the, the correct font here because I want to do metrics on it. So I want to actually know which font is, was used to make sure that I like place the bunny correctly. So this is what we're doing. There is a way, I think. Um, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's do it properly. Um, so there is much family style, yes? Uh, this one. This is not what we actually want. What we want is match font family style character. And um, let's see if I ever use it anywhere. Yeah, this is what we... Hmm. This is what we want. Uh, actually, <laughs> Uh, this is exactly the type of string that we need. Uh, uh, so yeah, but yeah, we are doing it properly. We are not hard coding the emoji font. Yeah, cool. I am even more happy about it. Okay, uh, let's see. So we call it on uh, manager. We don't pass any font name. So instead of font name, we pass nil. We pass normal, but it doesn't matter. There is another null uh, for I don't know for what. And then we have the string and we we need a call this on it, which return an integer. It, but I, I think in closure you can do something like this. No, that would be character. We need integer. But anyway, okay, so um, this is what we need. Uh, this is our typeface, okay? Then we need a font. Oh no, font we are going to def. So all good so far. Uh, we have um, emoji font uh, is going to be font typeface. And let's say the size of 20. This is we will have to adjust. So size of the font normally doesn't corresponds neither to width of the character, neither to height. Uh, it's some number to which width and height scale. Uh, so twice the size will make your letter twice uh, bigger. But if I say, for example, right now I'm using Fira code at 16, font size 16, uh, does it mean that my uh, let cursor is 16 pixel wide? No. Is are those letters or lines 16 pixels tall? Also no. Uh, but this is how the things are. Uh, another trick is yeah, that uh, in Clojure, if you need some complex setup in the def that you cannot do in one expression or you don't want to, you can put def inside LED block, top level LED block, which is considered bad practice, but not bad practice, but bad style probably so by some people. I, I don't care. I, I like this. I always do this. Okay, so suppose we have emoji font now. No. <laughs> uh, we no, we don't. No marcher constructor is found. This is strange because 
one definitely have typeface and size oh because we need um, what this is what we need i think yeah uh let's print emoji font it doesn't print much but um, okay Yeah, it's a color image. So we get we get it. We get the correct one. Okay, now we need uh, to place a character. Um, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. Um, we have a font, yes. Let so let's say we need, we need a thing called bounds, which is um, Measure, which is just a rectangle around what we're going to do, and we have uh, measure text in the font, uh, which is our case emoji font, and of course we need to bunny. I'm, I'm literally going to copy paste this bunny from the chat, unless YouTube does something stupid. No, it does. Um, all right. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't like this bunny. I emoji oh sorry i just put it here so this is how it looks in the chat and this is much funnier bunny uh rabbit i think this than apple ones but apple one but uh this is okay i think this is not a huge problem um, i'm okay with it okay uh so we measure this right um hmm. And then we just draw. Well, okay. Let's, let's draw string and see what happens. Then we will probably need to do some offsets. But um, canvas Java draw. I just need to remember what draw string does. Okay. So draw string is need string x y font and paint. Okay. Canvas. Sorry, string, yes. Um, X, Y is going to be something like this. X, Y, um, it needs font, uh, which is our case, it's a major font, and it needs paint. So paint, uh, it's not, not going, to, normally it would be the color of the letter, for emoji it of course gets ignored but we need some paint anyway we can create empty paint here or default whatever okay let's see let's see if it works i hope it works yay we have rabbits <laughs> we have rabbits just use svg um this I can do as well yes we can use svg actually um but it would be like uh, i will have to find the svg of a rabbit right uh, and uh, load it from a file this way we don't need it but i'm i'm happy with the rabbit so i guess we more or less guessed right uh, about the size of the font maybe make it 24 uh let me go where was it font 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 okay let's make it 24 let's see how it goes yeah it's slightly bigger okay and now what we need is to center it okay so, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so just so you know let's let's draw this bounds um let's draw React. Uh, we have translate. Okay, translate. Okay, translate. Bounce. What does it take? Um, DXD. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, let's see what bounce does it have, and then. Wow, 
something broke. Draw React found. I guess. Let's see if we can recover from this error. Oh, kind of. Okay, yeah, so it's, you see, it is, what the fuck? It's like, uh, I wish I could scale it up. I can scale it up a little bit. Uh, this is not proper scaling, but you see, so it, it it is offset a little bit on the left, a way too much on the right, a little bit to the top, and a little bit to the bottom. Now our task here is to align this perfectly. Mm. To do that, we'll have to do some calculations. Okay. Uh, to do some calculations. Okay. Um, hmm. Let me think. Let me think. So. Huh. This is tricky. <laughs> this is tricky. And there is just a lot of. Um, uh, let me figure out. Maybe. So we need something called dx, right? So this is offset of top left corner. Um, so let's first align top left corner. Um, to do that, we have get left bounds. Right. Um, so the left on the bounds is negative. To so we need to it's like minus two. So we need to add two to move it to the right. So this is going to be something like this. Okay. So it's minus something. Then. Um, we probably need to move to the left by the amount of um, how much width is bigger than cell width. So we have get width bounds, right? So, and we have, um, what, how it's called? Cell, okay, cell, 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 cell state. This is how much our emoji width is bigger than we need to half this and we need to minus subtract it, subtract it. yes. Kind of feels, feels right to me. Let's see um, if it actually works. Um, mm -hmm. I think it should. I think it should. Uh, it seems we did everything right, um, except except counting parents. Yes, ish. Okay, let's see. Okay, something broke from the start. No much meta translate found taken three. Okay, so translate. What? No. Okay. Something is blinking very fast. Still, it doesn't work. Dressite takes two arguments now, right? Hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, reset. Where is our game? Okay, yeah, so now bunnies are centered, and we kind of sort of can eat them, I guess. 
I guess, I guess. Let's let's make uh, let's remove this background. We don't need it. Yeah. Now we have it working. Okay. I can go through them. Um, hmm. I was wondering if I can make this look better, but I don't know. Looks all right. Looks all right. Maybe they look better. No, no. The problem is that every font can have a different offset for the emoji character, if I understand it. Yes, yes, that's why we actually measure the with the font that we get. So um, when we load uh, this font, we try to find the font that has this, this character. Well, this one or we can use this one probably better. Uh, so we fi find the font that has this particular emoji and then we know that we will be drawing with this exact font. So we can ask this font to measure character for us. So this is, will be measurement exactly for this font. And it includes all offsets to the left, to the top, to the bottom, to the right. So everything, it actually, it's the actual like square around the character um, and then we align it so as we calculated dynamically so yeah you don't you can hard code it because on, a, on different system or if you run this on windows you will probably get different rabbit i'm actually curious how it looks on windows let's see yeah this is how it will look on microsoft this is our guy here. Eh. I don't know. Yeah, there is there is no Google or oh, there's no Google. No, there is Google. But YouTube uses something else as well. This is strange. Oh yeah, so in Android 8 they use the bunny that YouTube still uses. And then Android 11 they updated it, but they didn't update YouTube. Twitter is, I, I usually don't like Twitter emojis, but this is, <laughs> this is just creepy rabbit. I don't know. Like, oh my God. Oh, that's so creepy. Um, yeah, this one, I'm not sure if it's, oh. it was good before. I don't know what happened. Anyway, uh, so we have this, we are at two hour mark. Should we make, hmm. Let, let's let's make our snake grow i don't know All right so we can eat rabbits and grow and maybe see if we can intersect ourselves because right now i i, I don't have uh, that that possibility okay let, let's make uh, eating rabbits should be very very easy okay so um, okay kind of kind of easy um Hmm. One thing I think with rabbits, they should be in a set, not in a vector, kind of. Let's reload, reset, state, it still works, okay. Uh, they should be in a set because we're going to check it for a set. And we have... <clears throat> <laughs> Let's call it dinner. Um, no, uh, let's call it head prime. Um, head prime. Let's make contains we need the rabbits here. Rabbits head. So if rabbits contains our new head, new head, right? So we, that means we ate and ate. 
if we ate we don't make ourselves shorter mm. and in rabbits we just destroy rabbits we should do it let's see okay I miss something Try. Ooh, we are growing, baby. Okay, so next thing we need to die. Well, yeah, we can do this now, and there is no new rabbits. Okay, yeah. So uh, I I can implement like dying. Well, this would be. Uh, like this, you will have to implement like win lose condition and uh, no. Like we, we have to print some text like you died and handle uh, some button to restart or something like that. Hmm stop moving the, the snake or alternatively uh, I am just worried that we already been two hours it's already been two hours uh, but I'm feeling okay you guys if somebody feels it's too much you can watch it later on YouTube of, always of course um, okay so live and die uh, rabbit uh, population regrow or uh, graphics for the snake. I don't know. Let's let's implement dying. Okay. So I guess we need a key called that. Um, we set it at false. It should be relatively easy. Uh, the only thing that I think we are going to miss is. Hmm. Is uh, what is this? Yeah, so, so, so the problem we are going to face is that closure doesn't have a function to check if something is in a vector. Like you can build it out of other functions. I always just I just always hate to do that, but but anyway, yeah, it, this is pretty simple. Um, okay, we we put that somewhere in here. Uh, we do ticks if we are not dead. Yes, um, hmm. we need tail. Prime. Okay, so our, our check that we have to do now is our if is our new head is in our new tail. Okay, so this is going to be dead, and then we're going to something like any any returns true given. No, this is not uh, any that I need. Any there is a function called sum yeah there is this function called sum um, but it returns uh, the value from predicate not true or false uh, similar functions contains doesn't work <laughs> not any is not what we need we could use okay yeah, i'm mm, i do this every time i hate it every time um 
but what what are you gonna do so we have to write a predicate This is in okay. In um head tail This is that condition. Uh, there is a problem we can die now. Oh, wow something is not right in is there in enclosure no there's no in What's, what's wrong? Ah, oh. yeah, this is what we need. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, I died. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, I died. Uh, there, we need a button to reset, of course. Uh, this is gonna be simple as well. We just need to print a uh, key. Mm -hmm. So let's use R as 82. It's R. Why not to use sum with question mark? Sum with question mark checks is single value is not nil or not. You could use set xs x. Uh, I could, but <laughs> you're very fast to retract it. Yeah, um, yeah. It it was just performance wise is what not optimal. Okay, so what we need is we need this uh, restart would we'll do like pressing R we'll just do this we not need to we don't need to okay and now we can restart from something is not right yes wait why Something is not right. So for some reason, part of my snake gets... Something is wrong with new state, I think. What could be wrong with new state? Kind of works, right? No, without question mark. <laughs> Some without question mark. Uh, yeah, that is what I ended up doing. Um, but uh, because you have to write this kind of ugly predicate, which I don't like. Uh, sometimes I write it using reduce, but it's it's not something that you look like can casually put into your program you have to make it a function so a function like this in right so you see what it does it checks something and something right uh, when you write something like this you have to decipher this uh, what the switch when does what it's all about uh, so you have to make it a function uh, after that it's okay so um my problem is maybe system maybe this no something why why do my snake starts <gasps> because we change it yes because we changed with but we didn't change this it has to be I hope it's integer division mm, we also going to start from now on with um, 
snake made out of two. No, no. Let's see. Yeah, uh, because I didn't change the start position of the snake. Otherwise, it's boom. We died. Okay, we died. We can print something like you died. Press. Let's do that as well. It shouldn't be hard. Uh, the it shouldn't be hard. Let's do this. Let's print something. You died. Press R. Some uh, ex exams. What? <laughs> uh, yes, this is one way to write it. Yes, it's but this is again. So the suggestion is let me copy it from Timur. Yeah, I, I like that uh, that we discussing important stuff with missing functions and closure core instead of writing a silly game uh, so suggestion was to use this so you make a set of one element and then you check with um, you, you pass all other elements through it um, the two problems with it uh, first it doesn't return true false so this returns true right it returns true nil i think which i also I would prefer true false actually, not nil. Uh, this returns x actually, uh, which might not be great. Uh, this is first. The second, it doesn't work on false. So false, you can. I can imagine many situations when you try to look if false in some collection, it wouldn't work here. And and this is like not a problem uh, specific to this case. Uh, many closure functions fail, or even closure idioms like using set as a fa as a predicate stuff like that don't don't work when you make false when you try to look up false when set contains falses or the the thing you check for is a false value. Uh, same for nil, but for nil like closure optimized for nils, but not for falses, and sometimes you you need them. It, it might be not uh, rare, but when you do, it backfires. So I prefer to write a function that works on all values that return boolean instead of uh, the value itself. And then you, you have like two, three lines of code that, uh, of course, you need to move to same libra library. And it, it looks strange to include it from like to require someone else's library for, for this for function alone so you end up with like with a straw function that you don't know where to stray function when you don't which you don't know where to put uh, like nah, just don't like the situation it's not a big problem it's easy problem i just don't like having it yes okay um What are we doing? What are we doing? We're going to put some some letters on the screen. Um, yeah. Okay. So, let's call it emoji face. Here, we already have. Uh, we need this. Which font do we want to? do next okay um, we can do we can use default system font and that would be probably optimal or we can try like fallbacks or whatever uh fallbacks i have in i think much family style this is what we need Yeah, I'm going to do as well, which is even more ugly, but uh, text face. Let's do this. We have manager. Now we need to create an array of strings, which I also <laughs> uh, cannot uh, never remember. So we do we have 
to array. It returns array of objects now. Array map byte array make so we have make array into array to array and I can never remember what they do. Um, make array seems like what we need, but it doesn't take the sequence. So we have also into array I think. Yes, so into array it takes type. Yeah, this is what we need into array into array uh, then we need string right and then we need a sequence finally so the sequence is going to be let's start with what are the pretty apple fonts um i don't know i i, I suspect there is san francisco somehow it has very weird name like dot sf or something like that you probably won't see it in here um you probably can see it let's let's see if i can figure it out fast if not it doesn't matter we use helvetic i don't know um so we have this and if we click this yeah this is a fi family name okay let's try and get this I, I, I don't know if we are going to get it uh helvetica new Arial. i don't know this is all very ugly but um whatever whatever oh java i put i just put um, comma in there okay so next is text font and i know we need something like text font 32 which is going to be text face for 32 and maybe we are going to need second size like i know 18 18 for smaller smaller something i don't know uh let's say it's this okay so now we go to we're going to print the text you died in text font 32 and this is it's going to be the last thing we draw right so uh game over um Okay, we're going to need a paint. It's probably going to be red. Um, again, we're going to need bounds. We're going to measure text. You died. Something like that. Then we need to center. And we're just going to do draw string from there. Draw string. Um, what do we need? Uh, well, the same text. I probably should write a function that centers stuff for you automatically. I'm just too lazy to do this. Um, so what we need to do is take with Wind, window with uh, subtract from it bounce with right and halve it something like this uh, we need text font right why doesn't it complete? I don't know. And we need fail. Okay. Okay, now I don't put if in there. It's kind of intentional. Uh, no machine draw string taking for arguments. What do you mean? Oh, I paste canvas. Okay. 
You died. Okay, so what is this? Is it centered? Do you feel it's centered? I'm not sure. Is it San Francisco? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let me make make it longer so we can figure out if it's centered or not this is not san francisco i think so we didn't found i think it's galvetica maybe not maybe i'm wrong who knows these days right um let's see do i have san francisco and do have it here. Um, now it looks similar. Maybe this San Francisco. I know how how we can check. We can comment it out in font loading, right, and see if anything change. Yeah. It was San Francisco. And also we probably need it to be bigger, uh, like way bigger. So I'm thinking 100. And the second label can be 32. OK, so let's do this. Um, you died uh, in 100. OK. Uh, oh, yeah, this is more like it. It still isn't perfectly centered. I'm not sure why. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe because yeah, it also have left of set that we have to um, accommodate for. We need to, yeah. What, but what I like like about closure is that you can like mathematical formulas, you can um, thread them. And this is a thing that I like. Ah. <laughs> it's a little more centered. No, it is offset. I don't know why. Uh, I don't care to figure out further. You died. It seems good enough for me. Uh, probably we are going to need a bolt for that. Okay, and and just text face. So here we go for bolt and. Is bold so here. We just use text face. Yeah. Why isn't you centered? Aren't you centered? I don't know. Something broke, uh, draw react. Uh, I, I forget to add canvas to things. It, does it look centered to you? I, I, I messed up in a formal somewhere. Oh, I yeah, know, I know, I know. I know what's going on. This is because, uh, remember when we started drawing grass, we moved, uh, we moved to origin here. Uh, that's why, and but I'm using the full width uh, instead of the reduced width, and that explains. This explains. Um, 
Hey Stasis, late to the party, yeah, you're welcome, we're still still going, uh, we already have playable-ish game, um, let me, I did padding in, in, in it somewhere, oh my god, the correct formula would be so, no, it's actually not, we, we just not need to use width multiplied by cell instead of window width, yay! Yeah, this is what we need. Um, cool, 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 cool. Uh, we're cooking, now we're cooking. Okay, so this is even simpler. Well, it's not that simple, yes, but uh, who knows? Hide, hide, get top bounds. Okay, let's see. We're currently implementing the desk screen. Seems to... Yeah, the, it, it's not that, but yeah, the desk screen, just the desk screen. Uh, not yet. Yeah, and I want also to put something like uh, press R, R to reload. Okay, so... Um, hmm should I do okay I probably can yeah let's let me say so say canvas safe and canvas restore is this uh, very imperative API uh, that let you like draw in different coordinate system uh, translate canvas what what should we kind of slate to the canvas? Bounds. Um, get bottom of the bounds. Plus maybe 20. Okay. So we draw something um, here. We do restore. No, no, restore we do later. And now we draw just second uh, label, which is going to be press R to restart. Uh, we're going to use like 32. Um, we don't need translate in here. We restore. So after that, we return to whatever we were doing. We, I, am also, I also want to set color on paint to different, maybe black, I don't know. I think we don't have, again, I did it again, hey, what? Oh yeah, because we need uh, two coins, of course. Okay. Now it, it want floats. Okay, so this is another problem for closure use. So be using arrays a lot in Skidra API, and they are not the most convenient thing to do in closure. Uh, it expects floats, which are hard to come by in closure. Right, um, these are two probably biggest annoyances that API should solve. Also, color. Uh, this you cannot write this literal. It, it's closure interprets it as long, but you need int, and it wouldn't automatically convert it to int. So you need a separate function for it. So that's what if closure API ever appears uh, okay so translate okay yes I I missed messed up something let's not play with the save and restore this is Uh, 
I just put so why I, I wanted to do it because I didn't want to put a different lead inside but this looks like we have to okay so this bounds second bounds okay no no, no. okay let, let's make me dy is going to be plus 20 get bottom bounds and we just going to plus dy here we don't need restore here Mm, nothing changed. Why? Why? I don't know why. Why? Huh. Maybe we need to get right. Yeah, this looks better. Uh, 20 seems much. I, I just too tired to figure out why, what's, what's going on and why. Uh, I think the second message uh, would be better with smaller font and maybe bolder font so we're going with 24 we're going with 24 as well and we're going to use bold yeah. now i kind of fine i'm fine Boom, we die. Okay, and now, yeah, the, the most important part we need to put if around this, or when rather, right? So when died, it only has to appear uh, only if you actually died. Maybe, what's going on? Oh, dead. It's called dead. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so now we don't see anything. The snake moves. You died. Okay. Ah, I, another thing that I'm thinking uh, would be great to do is actually to make this so that until you start moving. Yes. Do you start? What the fuck? Why, why die instantly? Oh, I know why. I know why. We can make like flag, like start or something like that, but. Um, hmm. Uh, I can put a check in here, like... I imagined it wouldn't move, but it does move, unfortunately. So, yeah, it until you click where you want to go, it doesn't start. Boom, you die. Okay, okay, now, now and you can click, click back. Okay, so now we have start game condition. We have end game condition, we have rabbits. Um, the only other ambition that I had uh, when I was planning this is to draw the snake. So not, not use the rectangles, but draw like kind of graphics. I don't want to be like super detailed, just, just a line, but a line that has like proper Round, round, rounds. I have to call it um, uh, like arcs when it bends. I, I think it might be fun. Um, yeah, I and to, to work for this to work. Uh, start it. For this to work. For this to work. For this to work. I am going to need what I'm going to need. I don't know what I'm going to need. I lost my train of thoughts. Uh, 
Um, I really lost it. Uh, whatever. I don't know what I was going to say. Uh, so what we are going to do is we are going to redo the snake a little bit. So it's going to look a little bit differently. Okay. It's going to be drawn with a pass. So I, I show you how to draw rectangles. I show you how to draw text. Uh, the only thing I didn't show you is how to draw pass. The pass is, yeah, uh, it's a powerful API. You can draw basically any bezier curves that you want. That's what we are going to do. So again, a little pause, like two minutes, and we will get to it. I think half an hour should be enough, and then the whole video will be three hours, and I am okay with that. <laughs> There's no turning back right now. Uh, I just don't want to make second episode. I don't want to make it episodic. And I also like excited. I, I like doing it. So yeah, I I want to do what I want to do. Okay, so two minutes break and we are back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, let's see if it still works. Yeah, it still works. Um, yeah, let's let's implement uh, snake drawing. It should be it should be it should be simple. It should be simple. Um, let it go here and uh, blah 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 blah. The rabbits. The ro ah, actually, well, another thought that came to me. Let's see if it might be second rabbit emoji. Yeah, rabbit face. Let's use it. It's kind of, it might just uh, work better here in, in, sm in small sizes. Hmm. 
Huh. Why didn't it change? Ah. Wait, what? What's the, what is this? We don't need this, yes? This is something, something. Ah, because we do, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, I don't know. One might say it, say it works better. <laughs> One might say it doesn't. I don't know. I'm not sure. Let, let's leave it. Uh, it, it. Uh, there's no win condition still. Uh, boring. Yeah. Okay. So snake. Okay. So, so right now snake is like this. Uh, what we are going to do is we are going to need um, a stroke, not a fill, right? So this is another thing that might be interesting to see implemented. This is how it is. It is. So we need to. I think it's paint mod um, stroke. Something like this. I, I can't remember the things. I always copy, copy them. But I just tried. Decided if. Um, I just want to ex exercise my memory. Can I do it or not? Okay. Uh, let's make a stroke. I think we need paint mod. More than here. Also, importing all the stuff is not not gonna work for closure either. Yeah. Okay. Now we have. I'm not sure why it is half transparent. Do you see it? Like um, it seems half transparent. I'm not sure why. Because I did, certainly didn't make it half transparent. Maybe, oh, I know why. Uh, because we are not pixel perfect. Uh, if I put something like this. Because we're drawing exactly in between the pixels, I think. Yes, now we're pixel perfect. Um, yeah, you actually don't see this in, on retina screens because even if on retina, if you half a pixel off, you still fit the pixel grid perfectly. So it's easy to forget about this. This is not uh, going to uh, we shouldn't worry about this. Okay, so draw head. Okay, so first is draw head. Let head be first snake. Again, we probably gonna need neck, which is second snake. Oh, mm -hmm. We probably gonna need so somewhere in here I implemented difference between that it, right? Yeah, this this function. Okay, so probably is it subtract or subtract? Subtract, right? Okay, uh, def and subtract points x, y, first x, first y. Second, okay, and far bigger head neck head for some reason completion doesn't work i'm not sure why neck head we have to move it up next to utility functions like this then we need 
where were we? Uh, we were somewhere in here. Okay, so no structure editing. Didn't expect manual balance appearance from you. Uh, yeah, uh, this is uh, another another area that might need improvement. So it's like uh, if you don't spend time on it, uh, you, you don't improve automatically and I just didn't spend the time to learn. But I'm fine, I actually uh, I'm kind of fine. I, I, I'm not saying it's bad, it's, I have never tried it, maybe it's good, I don't know. The only thing I know is that sometimes editors have to complete your like parents or brackets for you like you type the opening one they put closing one for you immediately like and leave cursor in between or for quotes and i hate this stuff it always does not what i want it never does what i want and i always have to delete the, the second one and then continue it i hate this stuff i i, I expect structural editing to be better but i'm not sure how good it is in sublime uh, first of all, uh, and I don't want to leave Sublime. And second of all, yeah, it's something that you need to spend time on learning. Oh, so track points, cool. Uh, neck head. Um, mm -hmm. So this is the direction is no, let's, let's do this. So we're going from the head to the neck. So if head minus neck is positive. No, no, no. We need neck minus head. Hey, okay, whatever. Um, hmm. Let me do next snake here. So we don't lose the whole snake we're just gonna oh nice oh, all right okay so we do translate uh canvas we do actually we do what we do is uh save canvas we do translate to, to this, so we don't. Um, mm -hmm. The next is, I guess we, we do this. So depending on which direction we go, we might need so. We certainly okay. Let me go to canvas to see draw line. We do have draw line, right? Yes, we do have draw line. And call, call, call. So we, we certainly start from the cent center, right? And then we need to go to one of the edges and say our direction is one zero so we're going to the right then we are going to do something like this i'll show you what it does in a second uh, zero so if we're going to the bottom we're going to need something. And if you're going to... Okay, so this should do the trick. Actually, here we want uh, cell divided by four. And another thing that okay, let's let's do this for now. Okay, let's see how it looks. What do you mean? Oh yeah, I see. X, Y, S, head. Uh, neck, we don't need that much. 
Okay, something broke. Uh, no machine major line, friend. Oh my god. Okay, um, hmm. I need to convert this all to float. Let's do this. I don't know. Let's align them so I can convert it easier. Okay. Oh, and wrong. Okay. okay. Okay, so here we need oops, float like this, float like this, and again, float. Also, if you see what I'm doing, I'm not sure how that would work with structural editing. I like to edit many lines at the same time. Oh, I forgot paint. Actually, maybe I didn't need float. But maybe I do, I don't know. Okay, it's too, too late to find out. No, probably. Okay, now it's disappeared completely. What? It's wrong. Okay, let's see which which line it reports to. One, one, three. So exactly the first lines of float, 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 stroke. Yes, five arguments. Why do you think it's four? I was actually right. All right. Um, <laughs> we don't see the rest of the snake for some reason. I don't know why. We should. Why don't we see the rest of the snake? Because we didn't never restored, that's why. Yeah, <laughs> this is our snake. Uh, like it or not. Um, Multi-line edit means maybe it's time to extract a function. No, certainly not. Certainly not. Okay. Um, next, we are going to do kind of the same ish for for the rest of the snake. The only difference is we need to know where it started and where it's going right so uh, this is what i'm going to do so there's <laughs> there's um, a trick so we are going to take a map pass a vector function to it and um, when it do snakes, next next snake. Let, let, let me figure out. So let's say I have one, three, four, five, right? If I call next, this is just next, right? And I also need something like zero. One, two, three, four, five, something like this. If I, if I, um, hmm, no, right, orange, right. No, yeah, actually, this is original snake. This is next, and this is n next. Okay, so uh, this is snake next and double next. Uh, what this will do for us? Prev this. Uh, let's call it before, current, and after. Okay. So 
Mm -hmm. This is coordinates of the, the thing before the current adapter. Okay, uh, first of all, what we need to do is save canvas, translate, draw, um, Uh, we need to subtract current points, current from before. Yes. Um, depending on what we get, we can get four different options. These are four different options we can get uh, for the from. And depending on which we get, we are going to... Um, so if we're going, if from before to current, we're going in x direction. So this is gonna be zero half cell. Okay, otherwise it's going to be cell, half cell, this is going to be half cell zero, and this is going to be half cell cell. This is from, and we do need to do the same for two. So here is this two. Uh, here we extract from after the current and depending on where, where we are going again something like this so what we need here is actually draw a line mm. first from second from first to second to stroke Okay, this is not gonna render us tail after it. Oops, I started to give um, zero minus twenty one. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So the track points is not. It's, Let's restart. Yes. So we're going to What's wrong now? Don't know how to create a sequence from long. What do you mean? Which line is that? One, three, one. So, hmm, I guess the problem is that we close something in here. Yeah, it doesn't draw anything. Why? It doesn't draw anything. I don't know. Do we know why? Uh, hmm. Partition to one snake. What would it do? Yeah, wrap around messes up cell mass. Yes, it's. That's something uh, we need to address somehow. Uh, what does partition to one would do? I, I... It would just break it into groups. I, I, 
uh, it's like for each point in the snake i want to know which was before it and which goes after but i don't know two groups i just need uh, this information for each point in the snake um let's i don't know print a line from to before i don't know before from current to after the, our favorite debug so somehow it gets 10 uh, yeah this is correct oh no it's not correct okay let me pause for, for a second huh. maybe i so we we, we we basically were drawing empty empty sink uh what we need to do is maybe swap this two well, i know i don't oh yeah no i don't like it let's swap this two instead Yeah, we have a snake. Okay, let's see if I. Yeah, I think it, it even works. Uh, hmm. Probably should draw it as a, as a single pass, which we don't do. We need to do. Ah. Three cells and move partition. I, I didn't know about this. Yeah, the pad and step. It's probably the step, right? Uh, huh, I didn't know about it. Yes, that's what I need. Let me try it, actually, because this looks sketchy. <laughs> uh, partition, three, one, snake. I just... Uh, We'll get the head or the tail. No, I, I probably would like this. Let's see. No, something. No matching clause zero minus twenty one. And what does it do with? When the items and huh. I don't know something something not right let's see what actually happens six two six three Six four six five. Okay. No, I didn't have to do next. It seems to do what I need. What what's the problem? I wonder. Hmm. Hmm. Zero minus twenty. Uh, this is okay. Uh, it just for some reason it doesn't draw it. Maybe now I need to return those back. No. Okay, uh, I, I should be printing, printing before and after. This is what should I should be doing. 
Okay, so the snake is like this. This seems perfectly, this seems like exactly what I need. Why stop working? Did it stop working? Okay, let's try it again. Close um, because now, yeah, because we now in I need reset state, reset state. Okay, it works, right? And but if I change this to this, also works. Okay, so something was. I, I, I removed print to land, right? It still prints. Ah, because I have it here. Yeah, that's exactly what I need. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you. Um, thank you, Stasis, uh, for just dressing this. I wish it didn't die. Just partition is not equivalent. On the last two step, you have new unsent. Um, no, partition seems to be exactly what I need, actually. It doesn't do nils. Uh, or if we use a just... There, uh, yeah, yeah, there's, there's some form of partition that does nils as well. Okay, 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 okay. So, uh, subtract points, right? Let's do... This maybe it's a good idea that um, that we made it a function. Uh, now we have an opportunity No, this is would be not right. This wouldn't be right. Yes. This would be right. So we can plus do like what 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 is the problem? We want to I think if we just plus uh with no. So there are two problems, right? So if we, uh, if one point is like at zero and the other one is at 60, or 50, 59, how do we figure the difference between them? This is tricky. This is tricky. Um, I couldn't think of. Well, I, I, we can add some special case. Maybe we can turn zeros. We can turn zeros. I 
first of all, this X is misleading. Uh, second of all, I need these two functions because writing first and last, I it's not proper. Uh, yeah, let's just write uh, a very long. So we are subtracting from zero sixty. So this would be from zero to sixty. So this is going to be minus one. Yes. If we subtracting from zero from fifty nine to zero, this is plus one. Yes. Otherwise, zero zero fifty nine. Fifty nine. Yeah, I think. I wrote it. This is the first, and this is the second, which should be on the different height. Get y, get y. Okay, so now let me. I think we're all right. Um, it should be in a good shape. Macro expand count requires even number of forms. 51. Okay. Something in here. So, key radio, key radio, key radio, key radio, key radio, key radio. Key radio. I don't understand. Ah, because, yeah, because it's like case and not count. But we know, yeah, we don't write cases, we write this. Um, restart? No, it doesn't want to restart. No machine close. 13. Oh, okay, yeah, we, in this case, we don't need else. We just leave it like this. And we are cooking. No, we're not cooking. <laughs> we are not cooking for some reason. I don't know. Um, no machine close 29. Okay. Zero. Huh. Huh. E yes, because here we need get x a, get x b, get y a, get y b. Yeah. Let's restart. Yay! We don't draw. No, this is weird. Now it's weird. I guess I messed up. I guess I messed up. Normally, I would, of course, take a piece of paper and try to prove everything, draw everything. Because th like this type of programming, it's exactly like off by one errors all the time. Uh, but now I just don't want to lose the momentum. Yeah, it seems we we did okay. We need to draw a tail, of course. We need to draw a tail. I died. And that could we use reminder after division by weeds for wrap around remainder? Miss some part of the stream. Uh, 
No, I don't think so. I, I tried to figure it out, but no. But So this is like, this function should return um, from one point to the other point, uh, like what is the delta. And from 1 to 59, there is no remainder function to figure out uh, that you need to go right, actually, right, not, the, not to the left. Uh, so yeah, uh, I, I think uh, the if is the on, or only the way. Okay, let's draw draw head, uh, draw body, and we need to draw tail as well. The tail is more like head in this regard, so we will just copy. Do we have something like last? last take last last and items in call so i think we need take last two uh, how do you call a part before before the tail Is there a word for it? X, so there is a get X tail, uh, get Y tail. Okay, so now we. So kind of tail before, and probably this would draw the tail in the wrong direction. Yes. So uh, let me do it this way. Uh, just need to swap those two and swap those two. Okay, so I imagine I would have better graphics for the snake. Now I think that. <laughs> uh, the kind of uh, sorry oh. I think what we used to have the squares were better but uh, let it not stop us um, pam, 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 pam. okay yeah, this is very slow. Okay, let me do one last thing that I want. I wanted to do kind of for head. I wanted to do how to say, I don't know. I don't know how to say the mouse. <laughs> Let's call it the mouse. Okay. Um, so in this case, we, we are drawing um, which way? Which way? Actually, uh, you know what? You know what? Let's do a different thing. So we here in this case we draw from uh, this is uh, like top looking s snake. Yes, this snake. If I we draw it like this. It always uh, will look to the top, and this is actually better for us. Works better for us. Um, let's see if I am right. No, it looks to the left. Oh yeah, because it's X, right? So I don't need floats here. I think. Because they're not. So we want to go up. That means that we need to draw from from the bottom of the cell to the center. Yes. The way snakes go. Yes. Now it always looks up. Okay. Okay. 
Maybe, maybe. So now, now this is what I'm thinking. Maybe we utilize rotation instead. Okay, how how cool is that? <laughs> uh, we we translate to the middle of the cell. Okay, translate to the middle of the cell, and we draw from the I don't know. So from the bottom, we draw to zero zero. Okay. This is needed uh, to do translations. Uh, rotation, sorry. Uh, rotate. Do we have rotate here? Yeah, it takes degrees. So rotate 180. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. So this, what we're drawing is, I think, if we subtract from the neck. So if we're going up and we subtract from one zero, we're going to have this. Yes, this is the default. This is 180. And here we have to just guess. OK. Let's see. Um, require. Mm, something broke. That's what broke. No matching. Okay, okay, whatever. Ah, yeah, I know. I forgot canvas, as I usually do. Um, here, I probably need this. Okay, I messed up bottom and right. So, yeah, I, I messed up, uh, but this is all right. Now I'm thinking that maybe rotation is not so good. So, so you see there are cracks uh, when the snake turns. Yeah, uh, there are cracks. Um, I don't like them, but to get rid of them, you have to draw the whole snake as a single continuous line. And then you cannot use rotation, of course. Uh, so maybe what I'm doing for rotation is going to bite us in the future, but I just probably want to end it already. So let's do what I wanted to do. Uh, and this is what I wanted to do. So from 0, 0, uh, we are going to draw maybe cell divide. Um, so 3. We want this and we want this. Okay, let's see what we get. Yeah. Yeah, this is what I want. I wanted this this place <laughs> that eats rabbits. I wanted more things. I wanted the rabbit to go through the through the body of the snake and only appeared it grows only when it reaches the end or something like that i wanted to do arcs in the middle instead of this um, diagonal line but well maybe for another time i don't know it's it's not we are not doing much anymore right so we get the, we, we, we build them the most. Maybe, maybe one thing that I do is we go to paint. I have paint here. We have stroke cap, paint stroke cap, and we can use round. And set press stroke. Cap round, and I need to import this class as well. Okay, so now you you kind of can't see the cracks, and everything is rounded. So this is your snake. Okay, let's let's finish up for now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, Stasis actually suggested to use it 
then use round line caps to make the cracks less apparent. Yes, yes, this is a simple way to solve it. And that's exactly what we did. Uh, there's no vein. Let's make vein condition as well, I guess. Uh, let's make win condition real quick, real quick, real quick. That uh, one is so empty rabbits is one, right? Rabbits. And we, we do the same. We just uh, print the huge huge this sink one you one and it should probably not be <laughs> in red let's make it in blue I don't know I'm out of ideas uh, you won yes um, hmm. I died and won. Uh, but uh, in normal game, it shouldn't happen, right? So I go here, I go here, I go here. I hit this one. Okay, I just, <laughs> if I die, I have to restart everything. So I better not die. I won, we won, yes. Okay, uh, three and a half hours, kind of long, but I'm satisfied ish with the result uh yeah i'm happy yeah uh, i'm happy i'm happy with what i built it's fun to play uh maybe later maybe another stream maybe i'll just do it in spare time and uh, add more effects because i want some effects and we can have an actual game uh thank you everyone for watching anyways and this will be on YouTube, of course. The full video will be on YouTube once it's processed. And I hope it was insightful, I don't know, useful, fun, and whatever, anything. I hope it was anything. Um, yeah, thank you again for watching. And yeah, yeah I, I, I forget to watch in the camera, I watch on the screen instead.